Waiting for this. You can see the intensity of the guys looking at each other. Everything looks big, man. We were talking here, Cyrus, how about the experience of Mike? Oh, he man. has as many wins as Caveira has fights. Yeah, incredible experience factor here. You're right. Santiago's been in a lot of positions. Southpaw stance for the American. But uh, Bruno Caveira, man, this guy is on cloud nine right now. He is feeling himself, and uh, he knows how big of an opportunity this is. So you got to believe he is hungrier than ever. Boy, Very changes. comfortable there. So Bruno is touching him. You can see yeah. he's already bleeding a little bit on his forward head. Yeah. Of course, a lot of great gyms, a lot of great fighters have come out of the Chicago, Illinois, there in the USA. Bruno Caveira representing Abu Dhabi and Brazil in this fight. Bruno Caveira, black belt in the but great, outstanding Muay Thai. Bruno looks very comfortable. He's hitting. He's using well his strike. He's hurting, man. He's hurting Mike. Yeah. Mike is hurt already. Look, Mike's forehead, nose. His whole face is red. You need to respect Bruno, man. Bruno is not joking. He improved so much on striking. Bruno is touching him in every opportunity. A body shot. Bruno is keeping the distance. Mike, Mike's getting a bit desperate there. Jones, just don't get too comfortable, Bruno, because that's when the mistakes happen. Nice. Yeah, and he, he's just on point right now. Nice. His accuracy, everything, very loose yes. is uh, Bruno Cabrera. He's doing an amazing job. Not, not even a takedown attempt for Mike. Of course, Mike Santiago has really fought all around the world here, guys. I mean, got a big opportunity after Dana White Contender Series. Uh, he got his shot in the UFC. Unfortunately, could not pick up a win in three fights. But uh, certainly a top-level uh, fighter here. I mean, just incredible. Oh, yeah, He's been he all is. around the world. So. That's to show how good Bruno is. He's unfazed, untouched. You're so right. Far. And this is a, a short notice fight as well, you know, for Mike Santiago, obviously was supposed to have a different opponent, it was Bruno Caveira. Nice yeah. But, but uh, the good old COVID struck right there right. in the main event. And that's uh, the world that we're living in right now, unfortunately. And thankfully, uh, we got a great replacement here. Everybody very clean. Everybody has tested negative in this whole building, which is incredible. Uh, yeah. But have been able to control the situation very well here at UAE Warriors. I was telling Daniel, this is one of the rare occasions where the replacement is actually, might be more dangerous than, than yeah. the, the, the actual fight. Oh my God, look Mike's face already, man. Like, Bruno is really Mike's bleeding, man. putting his punches to work. He's bleeding in different places on his face. Oh, and that body kick, man. Here, here. Bruno looks fantastic right now, man. Just the striking by itself has just been insane. Uh, I think even better than normal. He's I been mean. doing a perfect fight. He's been perfect on his strategy. If Mike come out of the first round, what game plan would he come back with, man? I yeah. would say take down because he can't touch Caveira. I always remember wrestlers are a little bit afraid to take jiu-jitsu guys down most of the time. Uh, look, it's like kick, man. You know, having such a, an extensive record, 35 fights for Santiago, only 31 years old, man. He has been a busy fighter, guys. Uh, he stayed very busy his whole career to compile that many fights in yeah. a 10 year span. He's tough. As tough as it gets. A lot of good talent out there, uh, just ready for a fight right now, especially with the pandemic. Not a lot of places to go. So you got to imagine uh, Mike Santiago was very excited to get that call and get an opportunity. 
and he doesn't want to waste it, man. If he can come in here short notice and take home the lightweight championship, that would be impressive. But Bruno can fighter was here in Bruno. He come from the birthplace of Vale Tudo in Brazil, where everything started. Yeah, it says a lot, doesn't it? It really does. It does. Well, let's hope that Bruno doesn't get too relaxed. He's doing so well. Let's see what Mike is going to try to do this round. Yeah, you know, Mike very hungry for a win, coming off of a loss his last bout. He definitely wants to get a big W here and, and take home a championship all the <laughs> way back to Chicago. Did you see what happened? He hurt his foot, Mike, trying to kick Caveira. Caveira pointed out, like, you're hurt. He was like, no, nah, it's okay. No problem. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, and that's something that you can see, man, because you've been in there, and you see those really small things like that, which <laughs> is awesome. Yeah. His foot is red, man, the place that he tried to kick Caveira. I think it's going to be hard to kick now with his left foot. And that's really what he landed in round Caveira number one was swollen. the kicks. Yes, right. Looks swollen, look. Yes, man. It looks bad. But I might not feel anything now. But sure later. Uh-oh, here comes Bruno. Lands a left hand. Santiago was staggered. It looked like he tripped. He, he tripped, yeah. He tripped. He's not hurt. But, but Bruno capitalized, jumped yeah. right in there with the left. And here we go. The American is on the ropes here. Good body shot, man. Oh, this Good is the knee. opportunity. This could be his championship moment. He's hurting Santiago. Oh, what a knee. Can he end the fight, guys? The whole world is watching Bruno Machado. Tough is Santiago, man. He's still throwing punches there. He's still there. Bruno is being cautious now. But you can only take so many. Mark Goddard watches closely. It's a desperation takedown that goes nowhere. And Machado stuffs it. And there you go, Anaconda attention by Bruno. Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh, man, it's tight, huh? Oh, baby! Tight. He's going to take home that belt! He's, he's out, he's out. He's, he's out. It's over! Your winner by submission to the Anaconda Show is the new UNA Warriors lightweight champion of the world, Bruno Cabana Machado! It was unbelievable. Some great fights.